Hi, and welcome back to Alex the Engineer. This month's video is action-packed, full of Amtraks and freight trains. Enjoy the video. Everything is in order from when I catch the train. Sorry that there is no sound at the beginning of this video. A con of professional road microphones is that you have to turn them on. I clearly forgot to turn it on in the beginning, but I did end up turning it on. As you can see here, there is no audio for this part of the train, and I am truly sorry for that. But I will eventually remember in this part of the video to turn it back on, as you can see right here. Enjoy the video. If you couldn't tell, we're back at Kirkwood, Missouri again. We will be here for a couple times during this video. This place is an excellent place if you're a rail fan or you just are catching the Amtrak. This has a very spacious and nice interior and it is usually opened at least an hour before the Amtrak arrives which is what we did as we sat in here when it was freezing outside on October 28th. You will see the video of the Amtrak right after this. If you couldn't tell, my tripod was not cooperating with me to get a smooth, crisp pan as the Amtrak went around the curve at Kirkwood Station. I will try to do better next time as I get Amtraks going over this curve. Enjoy the Amtrak leaving Kirkwood. I had a ton of fun on the first day of filming for this video. Our next location is out in Sherman, Missouri. There's a park nearby called Sherman Beach Park where a bridge carries the Union Pacific Jefferson City subdivision over the Merrimack River, which has great photo opportunities that you might be able to see in next month's video. We set up at a railroad crossing that is close to the bridge, and we didn't have to wait long to see something because the Amtrak had a high green and we knew it wouldn't wait for anything. Watch the Amtrak as it thunders through Sherman, Missouri.
decided to drive around Valley Park and we found a caboose by a toy store. I really liked the railroad crossing in Sherman, Missouri so much that we decided to go back and see another Amtrak train. I really enjoy this location, so expect more of this place. If anybody was wondering, the bridges over at Sherman Beach Park were built in 1930. A couple days later, we ventured back out to Kirkwood, Missouri to get a couple more glimpses of an Amtrak. This turned out to be the last Amtrak I caught on video. I got to briefly talk to the Amtrak's engineer. He was very kind and answered all of my questions. Before the Amtrak leaves, listen closely and you will hear highball over the radio. The next train that we will see is a freight train in Arnold, Missouri. It is in Arnold City Park on a bike path. These videos have our units of interest for this video. Get ready to turn up the volume for this SD70 Ace.
have some interesting cars if you're into that thing. A Rock Island hopper car and some Santa Fe coal cars. Our final train in this video is also at Arnold, and I was caught off guard with this train, and thankfully my dad got a video of it, and I got some pictures. watching this video if you enjoy this video make sure to like subscribe and share the video be excited for next month's video thank you for watching alex the engineer out